Welcome to the part 15 of this tutorial series. In this part, we will be uh, creating, working on the API service so that we can contact the backend and fetch the to dos and uh, authenticate the user. This is my API service that I created. And uh, let's begin here by injecting the HTTP client service. HTTP client. And here I'll define a lot of variables. First one will be my token variable. And it's an empty string by default. Also, I'll def I'll define a token or JWT token observable of type new behavior subject. And the type of this behavior subject will be string. And it will have this dot token by default. So behavior subject is a special kind of observable which is imported from RxJx package. And here you can uh, define an initial value like I am doing. So the next thing is to get that uh, token. So I'll define a function get uh jwt user token and this will simply return the private variable but as observable okay so i'll define the type observable of string okay so my components can now subscribe to this uh, function and get the notification from there. I'll also need a couple more services here. First one is the router service imported from the Angular router package and the toast service from my toaster package, toaster service from my NGX toaster package. So in the constructor, I'll see I'll try to fetch the token from my local storage because I'll set it in the local storage and get item. I'll name it ACT, that's the access token. You can name it anything you want. And if I get the token, if there is a fetched token, so what I want to do, I want to set this dot token equals to a to b it's a function of uh, actually decrypting the token or not not decrypting is actually yeah decrypting so i will save save the token in an encrypted format uh, to the local storage so that nobody can read it or use it directly and also i'll say this dot jwt token will be this dot token always okay so now when this is done i can work on the other methods so first method that i need here will be getting all to do's it's get all to do's and this will be simple simply returning this dot http dot get and i also need the api url variable here so api url or underscore url that's the url of my backend and i'll put it in api without the forward slash in the end and within the get function, I'll use the back text. So I can use variables and go to to do's. But now here, I, I will not get anything because my my route is protected. You remember, observable of any. And I also need to send a, a header. 
and my header should have the authorization header authorization like this with the bearer token in it and the bearer token should have the bearer keyword with a space and then the token yep. there's the all to do's i'll create a login method which will take the username and password and i'm simply going to go to the http service which is in the post method here and this dot api api url slash auth slash login and in the body i'm going to send the username and uh, password and here i'm going to subscribe inside the service itself okay and in the subscribe method i'll get a response from the backend so this response will actually have a token in the form of string okay so i'm going to assign my token to rest.token and remove pressure i'm gonna suppress this with yes ignore so i'm not returning this now if this dot token okay if the token is if the token is there what i want to do i want to send a toast notification of success type that is login successful redirecting now dot 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 will have no title and in the overwrite i'll say timeout of 700 milliseconds and position of class post top center you can get all these uh, options from the ngx toasters official uh, documentation that's there in on, in the npm js uh, website once, once this toast is hidden so i'll use the all hidden function here and i can subscribe to it or i can simply uh let's change it to a promise then i can use the 10 method i change the 10 method there will say this dot awt token dot next this dot token and i'll set the local storage here with the key act and i'll use the b2a function here it will encrypt my token and then i'll navigate the user to the front end okay so this is the uh subscribe call after this you can also catch an error if there is any and this error will be of type http error response i'll simply console log error dot message so save this and uh, in my uh, auth card here this is at present returning true doing nothing i want this to check the auth state or the token and uh, allow or deny the request accordingly so here i need to inject my api service api service and also the router simply i'll go here and say return 
this.api service dot jwt user token and this is an observable i'll simply pick the pipe operator here and i'll first map the result that i'll get to a boolean i'll get a string and i want it to be a boolean So you see, so this is the way you convert a string to a boolean, okay, using two exclamation marks. And you see that in the next operator, I'm getting a type of boolean instead of string. So here, I'll say if there is, there is no result, that means I'm still not authenticated. Navigate by URL. I'll send. I'll send the user to the login page again. And return the result because you need to return either true or false. And if this that, that's not the case, then simply return result here as well. That's my auth card, and I can use this auth card in my app routing module or the home component. I'll use can activate, and if this takes an array, so I'll take I'll use auth card here. I save the changes go to the browser now it says you cannot access i mean if i, if I try to access this it will prevent me and let's see what does it say okay http client i need to in, uh, use in i mean provide the http client module in the app module here so HTTP client module. Okay, save the changes, go back to the browser. Everything is fine, and I get to the login page by default. Even if you try to access the you are uh, the home page, you will not be able to. Okay. So that is pretty much about the API service and the remaining methods that are there. Let me quickly uh, create them. So the logout method here is a little pretty simple. I'll simply set the token to empty string and this dot JWT token will send this token an empty string and this dot toast message will say logged out successfully. Without any title, and the options will be timeout of 500 milliseconds. That's it. And when this is hidden, I want to simply remove the uh, local id local storage that is the token and the user will be sent to the login page and this will return an empty string if if at all needed okay so for the creation of to do's I'll create a method, I'll say create to do and I'll go to the HTTP post. I'll use the HTTP post method here because I'm posting a request because I will be providing a body here. So the body will be a title and a description. Both will be sent here along with the header. So you might argue that why are you sending headers manually and not in using the HTTP interceptor? Well, definitely you can use that, but I'm keeping it simple here. And oops, I'll simply suppress it. Similarly, I'll suppress the type definition for this line. 
The next method is update status. This will take a status value of type string and task ID or to do ID of type number. Well, this will return HTTP dot patch. I mean, we are we have a patch endpoint, not a put API URL slash to dos and slash the to do ID. Okay, so make sure you check here to dos slash the number. Okay, and in the body, we gonna send the status as status value and again in the headers I'm gonna send the authorization header here so once that is done I'll, I can simply pipe use the pipe operator to display a toast notification using the tap operator There is a response to so this dot post dot success. We say status updated successfully without any title and the options. I want a timeout of 1000 milliseconds. That's about it with the uh, update method and again I need to suppress the type definition here the last method for this video is the delete to do and this will only take the to do ID as number and return this dot HTTP but delete going to the same API UR API URL slash to do slash the to do ID and with, with the header, no body, just, just the header. Okay, so once that is done, I can again display a toast notification here. If rest start success, my response will have a success attribute in the JSON uh, format. So once that is done, I'll say this does toast dot success to do deleted successfully. All right. And the last thing I would like to do is to go to my to do controller or the home controller here, home com component, and I'll un uncomment all these fields, all these functions here. Okay. So this API call and this one and the delete method also. So ignore. Save the changes. All right. Uh, go here. Uh, it says cannot find name task ID update status update status uh, it's to do ID save the changes and here it says login work because I, I have the auth card in place um, so for the time being I'm gonna remove the auth card and go to my home page I get the test to do here because my to dos are not getting fetched. The reason is that I don't have a token here, which is okay. Let's oops, let's keep the auth card in place, and in the next part we will uh, create the login component and complete the login functionality. All right. Till then, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, share it with your friends. If you have any suggestions, please put those in the comment section below. I'll see you in the next part. Thank you and have a wonderful day.